were already proving with archaeological evidence that everything that was written about this temple was wrong. She was a mother, she was a wife, she was a queen, she was a goddess. And we are trying to find out what, what it led us. Step into a world where secrets are finally revealed that echoes through time. Imagine the thrill on November 20th of 2022, when Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquity unveiled a mind-boggling discovery beneath Taposiris Magna's ancient ruins, but what indeed lies beneath what tales does, this geometric marvel tell, and who are the audacious minds behind this astonishing find. Today, we invite you to step into the shoes of these intrepid adventurers, armed with curiosity and determination to rewrite the very story of our past at the center of this captivating journey, stands Kathleen Martinez, a modern-day archaeologist whose fever for unlocking Cleopatra's enigma led her to traverse the historic landscapes of Egypt in an astonishing turn of events, a once dormant tunnel concealed beneath layers of sand for centuries came to life, revealing a testament to human brilliance. This colossal corridor plunges nearly 13 M into the earth, guarding secrets that only the fearless dare to unveil. Are you prepared to embark on a quest to uncover the mysteries hidden within its depths? The revelation that followed left Kathleen Martinez and her team and archaeologists worldwide in a profound state of bewilderment. The purpose behind the construction of this awe-inspiring tunnel remains enigmatic, much like the tantalizing possibility of other concealed passageways of similar grandeur. Patiently awaiting discovery, could this tunnel hold the key to unraveling the long-lost tomb of the legendary Cleopatra and her beloved Anthony, this discovery has eluded historians for centuries as Kathleen Martinez and her team continue to delve into this historical enigma. The world watches with bated breath ready to witness the unveiling of a story that has the potential to rewrite the annals of history itself. Why did Kathleen start? Why did Kathleen start the expedition? The expedition. Even though Cleopatra has been dead for so long, her remnants remain secret as the last pharaoh queen. She has been a subject of interest, and people have been in search of her last destination for so long. But unfortunately, they were not near the tome among all the previous. Searcher's Kathleen Martinez was too passionate and started her. Expedition from the early 24th century now, the question is, why was she so passionate about finding Cleopatra's resting place? Since her childhood, she was fascinated with Cleopatra's strength and her beauty that has persisted throughout her lifetime. She delved deeply into historical accounts and finally convicted that Cleopatra had been unfairly maligned, a victim of both Roman propaganda and historical misogyny. As Martinez's research journeyed forward, she meticulously scrutinized the stark dichotomy between the narratives found in Oriental texts and those scripted by the Romans, mainly focusing on Plutarch's intricate account of Mark Antony's intertwined fate with Cleopatra, guiding her team. Martinez discerned subtle yet significant clues that conventional scholars might have overlooked the foundation of her expedition rested upon a compelling hypothesis— a belief that in the depths of Egypt's historical landscape, the truth about Cleopatra's life and legacy was waiting to be unearthed, and in the process dispel centuries-old biases and misconceptions, revelations at Osiris. Revelations at Osiris Magna. Magna Cleopatra, often likened to the revered goddess Isis, would have likely selected a temple dedicated to Isis as her final resting place. This choice was grounded in her profound understanding of Egyptian history and culture. Drawing inspiration from Strabo's vivid depictions of ancient Egypt with meticulous precision. She pieced together a comprehensive map highlighting potential burial sites, ultimately pinpointing 21 locations in Ticatali and Twined, with the legions of Isis and Osiris as the Expedition progressed. Several temples were methodically eliminated from consideration, leading the research team to zero in on a singular site on Alexandria's outskirts. This sacred haven was none other than the revered temple of Taposiris Magna, also known as the Great Great House of Osiris. 
However, French explorer Frank Guglio and the European Institute of Underwater Archaeology have advanced an intriguing alternative theory. They champion the notion that Cleopatra's elusiveness was timely, suggesting that she and her treasures may have been swallowed by the very waters of Alexandria during the cataclysmic earthquake that reshaped the city's fate. This alternate perspective adds yet another layer of my to the ongoing quest for Cleopatra's final resting place. Martinez's journey and Martinez's journey and collaboration. Collaboration. The groundwork for this theory had been laid in 1992. Walking underwater excavations that had continued into 2002 in the year 2002. Armed with the breadcrumbs of historical clues, the researching team connected their clues with archaeological discoveries of Egypt, a land steeped within mystery and rich with antiquity. During this transformative journey, they managed to connect with Zahi Haas, a distinguished archaeologist, and the helm of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, unfazed by the challenges. Initially, they personally financed the inaugural expedition and several more that followed with the commencement of the excavation in 2004. Kathleen Martinez made a life-altering choice. Due to her career in law, she embraced Tread, a new chapter written amidst the sands of Egypt's storied landscapes. The ongoing mystery during the ongoing mystery, the excavation, the whole research team was dedicated to finding the results regarding the Tumnau step into 2005, a pivotal year when the team decided to return to the Dominican Republic little did. They know that their journey was about to make a remarkable turn meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the lead leader was bestowed with a title that would make any adventurous heart race. The passport that followed was more than a travel document. It was a key to a treasure, trove of knowledge, just waiting to be unlocked with their newfound diplomatic status. As a result, the research team has embarked on a mission that would forever alter the landscape of archaeology. The site of their exploration is Osiris Magna, a temple with a history as complex as the enigmas that it held the city of Alexandria, with its whispers of history stood just 50 kilometers to the east. It is a testament to a civilization that thrived ages ago, but the temple's history wasn't one of uninterrupted grandeur as Kathleen Martinez's excavations began a tale of revival, emerging one that would defy time itself amidst the temple stones. A revelation awaited an underground chamber hidden away for centuries. Not one, but two. Subterranean treasures bear witness to the ancient whites and sacred moments. Hieroglyphs etched within the walls whispered. Tales of devotion. Inscriptions that told the story of reverence, the temple long dismissed as insignificant, now radiated with newfound importance. In 2018, the sands of time gave up their secrets over 800 artifacts, each carrying whispers from the past were unearthed. But the proper one lay beneath the surface, a vast cemetery, a silent testament to the lives that lived centuries ago. Catacombs where the shadow of antiquity found solace over 800 bodies and 14 mummies, all connected by the thread of time. And as if the echoes of Cleopatra's legends were guiding their hands, busts, and coins, bearing her likeness, emerge from the depths. But the story didn't stop there. It only grew more intriguing to imagine uncovering rock-cut tombs, each a window into the past. Mummies their forms preserved in a delicate dance, with time emerged from the earth. Yet what drew a grasp of astonishment were the golden tongues that rested within their mouths. As the years rolled on, the discoveries continued jewelry, scarab beetles, and lotus flowers emerged from the dark remnants of an era steeped in tradition. And then, as if painted by the past itself, Karen Decor, Asians adorned, mummies with crowns, cobras and falcons. These sacred symbols were a map of the beliefs that guided their journey beyond life. Fast forward to the century of Tutankhamun's tomb, a time of celebration and serendipity. It wasn't just a tunnel, mind you. It was a portal to an ancient religious center, 
a place where devotion met architecture within its confines. Sanctuaries whispered tales, while a sacred lake cradled. The echoes of passion and the artifacts, all the artifacts, over 1,500. Treasures had emerged each a testament to a civilization. Splendor, yet a mystery, lay beneath the excitement. A network of tunnels submerged structures that hinted at secrets, still buried by time as the earth quaked and shifted over the centuries parts of the tunnel collapsed, their secrets buried, a new still. Amidst the ruins, a fervent hope emerged. Could this be Cleopatra's tomb? Finally uncovered amidst all these revelations, one fact remains clear. The tale of Cleopatra and her lost tomb continues to captivate. The discoveries are a testament to humanity's unyielding curiosity, to the insatiable desire to touch the past. So as the sands of time continue to shift, one question remains, will we one day stand on the precipice of Cleopatra's final resting place? Subscribe to our channel. We'll give you the latest of all of these fascinating discoveries. Don't forget to press the bell notification icon while you're down there to never miss an upload from us. And I will see you in the next one.